A lot of times when I end up telling the story, one of the things you end up telling people, and I always start it the same way, I met a girl. How would you describe the culture when somebody comes here as a visitor? What's a culture like for them? I think we do things very uniquely and very differently here. So mm -hmm. the culture of uh, uh, the culture for them is like, wow, this is a different tour. This is a different tasting. I'm greeted with a beautiful Lallier champagne when, when I arrive. Uh, oh. <laughs> I met this girl at University of Minnesota uh, in 1985 and uh, we started dating. She was working for four stores in Minneapolis, St. Paul that sold stereos, sheet music and guitars called uh, Sound of Music. And uh, she loved it so she kept working there after we graduated. Uh, we got engaged. Uh, they had by then, by the time we got married they had grown to 12 stores and then three years after we got married our first child was born and the 12 stores had grown to 50 stores. And I'm not very bright but I thought that might be a better place to work. And so I joined the company at that point. They would realized that uh, sheet music and guitars weren't the future, so they'd gotten rid of those and bought TVs and appliances in. And uh, they realized the name Sound of Music didn't fit, so they changed the name to Best Buy. So we were at Best Buy from the very early days, and uh, were there until it was over a thousand stores. And then in 2004, bought this place and, and moved out here and started the winery. It's absolutely beautiful looking over that this kind of quarter amphitheater, if you will, again, planted to 10 acres. And on a beautiful day, you can see clear across to Pritchett Hill, Atlas Peak. Absolutely. You can see the valley below us. And yeah, it's a breathtaking area. And Spring Mountain has really always been my favorite AVA, you know, since I got into wine some 20 years ago. And, and lo and behold, I get to spend, you know, every single day up here on this beautiful mountain. Uh, the great temptation with beautiful wines is that you're going to treat them like a trophy. And for us, we don't choose to treat them like a trophy. We, we, you know, we, these wines are meant to be shared with your family and your friends. I think one of the things that's the most gratifying about what we get to do is that the wines that we make end up on the table for people when they're celebrating, when they're with their family, with their friends for a special occasion. And uh, they really want to enjoy a, a bottle of wine that's going to make the meal. And uh, that's the blessing of what we get to do. So let's talk about Spring Mountain for a second because this AVA is definitely unique to Napa Valley. It is. And it's probably one of the most unique AVAs in the valley. I think the reason is because it's actually the coldest and the wettest AVA mm -hmm. in all of Napa. Now is that a good thing or a bad thing or is it just a thing? I think it is a good thing. I think it's unique in the fact that it really separates our terroir. I mean, look, this mountain is probably 250 million years old, right. but when you think about the last seven or so million years, how these mountain ranges, you know, came apart and formed this wonderful fertile Napa Valley and certain areas of this mountain eroded and made it suitable for us to plant in the 1860s, 1870s, 1880s and going forward. It really was something for us that allowed us to have a project that was of a scale that we could do it as a family. So that's really important to me as well. And our daughter actually graduated from UC Davis in viticulture, and she is uh, starting her own wine called Fearless. So it's, it's really become a family project for us. Um, and we have a very unique way of making the folks that we meet for the first time mm -hmm. feel like they're family. We start the, the tour in the vineyard. Uh, we have an opportunity to show people what we're doing there. Um, we step into the cave and we might taste a little barrel sample of Pinot Noir in the cave. So you, those sights and smells, to smell the oak barrels, to smell the wine fermenting, really is a special thing to get to do. And then we finish the, the experience in the, uh, the tasting room upstairs, a beautiful tasting room upstairs, where you can actually sit and get your nose into the glass and really enjoy the wine. Absolutely, and so that, that's what we're having today, right? Yeah, this is our, this is our Chardonnay. And uh, we actually, this is a, uh, we dug into the cellar a little bit. This is 2013 uh, Chardonnay. The current release sold out three months after release. So we want you to reach out to Wine Paths Travel and make sure that you've got Fantasca, this beautiful place. It is an extraordinary destination. You and your wife have done amazing things with this wine and the property. 
and it's such a pleasure to meet you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you.